Um, <clears throat> so MATLAB has a histogram equalization function called histEQ. And let me show you that. I'll load in this image called lifting body. So this image has um, a lot of pixels in a background like this that are somewhat washed out. If I um, run histogram equalization on that, it definitely enhances the um, output uh, the the values in the background here at the expense of pixels on the airplane itself. You can see those are kind of uh, washed out at that point. So an alternative to a global mapping function, which we've just done, is a local function. What we do is we're going to apply lo histogram equalization in local neighborhoods. We're going to um, slide a small window across the input image, apply histogram equalization to each window, and the results are blended together, but that gives you an adaptive histogram equalization. So to run that, This gives us a much better result. You can see the, um, here's the input, here's the output. We, we've improved the contrast in the background, but we still have good contrast on the uh, airplane itself. So histogram equalization um, is an exa example of an enhancement technique. It doesn't add any information, but it does improve the visibility to, to our own visualization. Okay, moving on to spatial filtering. So instead of um, designing a mapping from a single pixel to an output pixel, we're going to look at the neighborhood of values around a pixel. So consider a pixel located at XY. We look at a neighborhood surrounding it. Um, we're gonna have a mask of size little m by little n and we're going to do a sum of products of the values in that mask with the values of the image f underneath it and then the output is put into the output image at xy and that's done at every possible pixel so essentially we slide that mask over the entire image and at each pixel we perform this operation this is called correlation or cross correlation we're cross correlating two functions in this case it's w and f to produce an output G, and you can write it in this form. Here's our mask um, with values S and T ranging from minus N over two to plus N over two, and here's the value of F uh, shifted by S and T. So here's an example of um, a type of spatial filter called a box or averaging filter. So essentially you can see this is just going to take the three by three neighborhood surrounding a pixel and compute the average of those. Or we could design a filter that's, that weights the center more, put a four there, and the, the weights decrease as you get further and further away from the center. I've also shown a uh, constant scaling factor out here. We would, would multiply by one ninth because there are uh, the sum of the of the values in the mask is nine. So let me show an example of doing this on a corner. So let me consider a image consisting of zeros. And then here we start 
having tens. Okay, so and then this would continue infinitely in those two directions. So you can think of this as a, a bright corner against a dark background. So if I were to put a um, this this box filter on the image, let's draw that here, and I'll center it here at this first position. Okay. So what would I get? Obviously zero, right? Because I'm going to be multiplying ones by values of zero. So that result would give me a zero. If I shift it over here, I'm going to have 1 times 0 plus 1 times 0 for all values except 1 times 10, so I would get a 10. And I, I still would have to divide by 9, so let me just remember to multiply by 1 ninth by all my results here. Shifting in the next position, I have two 10s, so I get a 20. Next I get a 30 and then it would be 30 from that point on. Okay, in the uh, shifting it down by one row, just choose a different color here. If I were to put my mask here, okay, again I would get a zero. The next position I would get a 20. And then the next position I would get a 40, and then a 60, and then 60s. And then finally, shifting it down to the next row, I would get a 0, a 30, a 60, and then 90s because I covered the entire mask here. So if this were to continue with the same pattern, that would continue like this. Okay, so what you see is our our uh, corner, <clears throat> which is originally this lower, um, uh, let me draw another color here. <clears throat> originally our corner was here, and now the corner is here. Okay, so I've blurred the corner and um, some of it has leaked over to the other side essentially. Notice also that I <clears throat> didn't fill in the values along the border of the image. I left those as little dots. Um, so there's some, you have some options as to what to do there. The easiest thing is to simply pad them with zeros. So that's what I'll do. And because you really, the, the mask doesn't fit entirely on the image at that point, so you don't really know what the value should be. Another option is to pad it with a constant value or treat the image as wrapping around.